It all started 18 years ago, in a small makeshift lab in the middle of the bayou. I thought I was on the brink of developing a new source of energy, but what I found was an almost uncontrollable source of destruction. Well, if you like that, we're going to take you behind the scenes now and show you every step we did to make that video trailer. All right, this is a set I built in my studio. It's a three wall set. I've got a strobe out to the right side there that will flash in the lightning. So let's watch what happens. I've got my lightning and action. Now I've got that lightning on a remote control, which makes it really easy, so I can just time it when I want. And the dolly system I'm using there is a CineRails dolly system. It makes it really handy because you can move it around real easy, lightweight. So for my next shot, uh, I'm going to be using a long lens, and I want Dave to be the focal point. So this track, all I have to do is pull a drawstring, it tightens the arc up, then I re-snap it together, and I've got it at just the perfect arc. So with that, my, my focal point literally you, Dave. Last time was kind of dollying past you, uh -huh. you know, just so I could keep the background in without going outside my frame. Right. This time, uh -huh. do it like this. And action. All right, on the next shot, the dolly won't go so tight, and I need to do a very close-up tight arc, and so I've got a little device called a Move It. I've mounted my camera on there, and you can see it can do a very nice, nice tight arc, and it's all motorized, which is really, really handy. And on this one, I've done another shot. Down lower, we didn't end up using this shot, but it was just as cool. And on these shots, I needed just some tight, tight close-ups, so I put it back on a tripod just so I could pan around. Did it a couple of times just to see Dave swishing that little chemical around there. And here, oh, I made Dave suck the tube, just so I can get some fluid flowing in that tube for a shot. On this shot, uh, Dave, I had to light him a little differently. So I put a light down to the lower left of him just to illuminate upward. You know, kind of give you that idea that there's light coming uh, from the microscope up. And again on this shot, same thing, as Dave moves in, uh, you can see that the light gets on his face just to give it that little flavor coming up from low. Now here, this is a really interesting situation. I have a couple of live wires that we've got to a rheostat, and I'm going to have Dave put it down into a uh, solution of salt and water, and watch what happens. That's good. Nice. Didn't that look nice? That All right, work for you. <laughs> that worked really good. Okay, the next shot requires a straight track, so I'm going to take the center rails and uh, snap them, unsnap them, that is, and put them into a straight track. So there you go. That quick, easy. Um, now I have my straight track for a uh, dolly push in, just to give a, a real dramatic uh, movement toward Dave once he realizes everything's going bad. Now the next shot, uh, what we're doing here is drilling a hole in the table so I can illuminate underneath of that vial there, or, or the, uh, whatever you would call that glass of orange chemical. Uh, that way I can have another gentleman on a rheostat and turn the power up on that light and illuminate the, uh, the liquid. Now of course, I gotta put a little something in there so that the light doesn't just, doesn't just pass through there. So I uh, cut a little circle and put it on top of the water and then uh, when you illuminate from the bottom, it illuminates that little piece, and this is what you get. Once I animate it and put an extra little uh, glow on top of it, then it really, really looks good. Okay, in the very last shot, I had to, I had to put some light down uh, on Dave, and what I did is I put a white piece of paper on the table, and then I used this very big light to shine down on that so that the glow comes up on Dave's face. So that's pretty much how you do it. It's a lot of fun, but there are a lot of things I haven't shown you yet. For one, I'll be doing a video on how to light this entire set that you've seen here with lights you get from a store. Literally, cheap lights that can light a set like that. So in order to do this and continue to give it to you free, you'll have to subscribe or follow me on Facebook. But definitely tell others, because the more people who subscribe or follow me, that's what's going to help me continue to give this to you for free. Well, until next time, have a great day, and thanks for following me right here on Danny Dodge Live.